Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationship in Microsoft Access. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationship in Microsoft Access. In order to achieve this task, we should analyze the table design or we should know the table design first. So let me see the table design. We have three tables, namely student, subject, and library. The table students, we have the field name, SID and S name, where S stands for student, student ID and student name. Student ID is going to be short text and primary key, and student name is going to be a long text. So next, the table subject. The table subject is having the field name SID, the student ID, short text, primary key, physics, chemistry, math, English, followed by the data type, yes or no. And the final or last table is library, where it will be having SID, so short text, and BID, it will be a short text and a primary key, and B name, it's a long text. Now we can see the similarities between these three tables, where you can see SID, SID, and SID is common in all the three tables. Where in the first two tables, student and subject, the SID is a primary key and in uh, table library, SID is not the primary key. So, before entering into the topic, we should have an idea about what's the relationship. Why we should go for relationship? So, relationship, if you have a relationship with the table, we can able to split and store the data in different tables. So it's used for to split and store the data. And primary key is to provide a unique value or is to avoid the duplicate values. So what is one-to-one -one relationship? So there will be only one entry in all the tables. So one-to-many, there will be one entry in the first table and multiple entries in the second table. So these are the key points or key area where you should have an idea. So now our next task is how to open Microsoft Access. It's quite simple. Go to start and look for the alphabet A. Under A, you can see access. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to start, look for the alphabet A. Under A, where you can see the icon access. Just click the icon in order to open it. When you click the icon, it will take you to a backstage view where you can see two types of databases, namely blank desktop database and custom web app. So today we are going to use blank desktop database. When you click on blank desktop database, it will generate a pop-up window where you want to give the file name. And if you wish to change the file location or the database location, you can do so by clicking this icon. So select where you wish to save the database and click OK. Today I'm going to use the default location. So I'm going to change the file name as let us say college and click create. When you click create, it will take you to an IDE where this is an area we are going to work with. And by default, it will generate the table one. So table one is a default table created by when you click on the create button. So now we want to design the table. If you want to design the table, you want to navigate to design view. How to navigate to design view? Just right click on the table and click on design view or else here you can see view just click view and navigate to design view now when you click on design view it will ask for the table name so the first name will be table name will be the student click ok now this is called as table design where you can see the field name data type and description so first the table will be student and followed by SID and yes name. So here is underscore ID followed by short text and here you can see the primary key. If wish to delete the primary key, just right click right here and remove the primary key. If you wish to add the primary key again, the same process, just right click here, add primary key. Next followed by S underscore name. It will be of long text. Now, after designing your table, just click the close button in order to save it. When you click close button, a dialog box will generate and it will ask you to save. 
click yes in order to save it and then double click the student table in order to enter the value so now let us say s101 is a user defined name you can use any name so 102 is a user defined name you can use any name s103 you can use any name s104 okay after filling the filling up the table just close the student or just close this table the second task is we want to create one more table so how to create one more table just go to create here you can see the create tab just click on the create tab and in create tab where you can see the table icon one second i repeat the steps just go to create tab and click on table icon in order to generate or create a new table so now you can see the new table was created for the name table one so again we want to navigate to design view how to navigate the design view just click on the table and right click and go to design view so it will ask for the table name give the table name as subject so now subject what we are going to use the field names are SID, Physics, Chemistry, Math, English. Okay, good. So first followed by S underscore ID. It will be of short text and followed by Physics. So it will be of S or no and followed by Chemistry. And it will be of S or no. And then Math. It will be of yes or no and last is English. This will, uh, the data type will be yes or no. And then after designing the table, just click the close button. When you click on the close button, it will generate the dialog stating that you wish to save. Click on yes in order to save it. Now, just double click the table subject in order to fill the table with values. Let us say yes one not one. So what are the subjects? Let us say click all. And then S102 only physics. Let us say S103 chemistry and math. And S104, let us say English. So after filling up the table, just close the table in order to save the table. Again, we want to create one more table. What is the name of the table? It's going to be library. And we have the data types, uh, short text, short text and long text. That is field names or SID, BID and BNU. So again, just go to create and in create where you can see table icon. Just click the icon in order to create a new table. Once again, I repeat the steps. Just go to create tab and click on the table icon in order to create a new table. The new table was created under the table name table one. So now we want to navigate to design view. How to navigate to design view? Just right click on the table, go to design view. When you click on the design view, it will ask for the table name. Let us say library and click OK. So first one, it will be of S underscore ID. It is a short text, but here it's not a primary key. See, SID is not a primary key. So I'm going to remove this primary key from right here and next followed by bid b underscore id that is book underscore id it will be of short text and this is going to be the primary key how to insert the primary key just right click right here and insert the primary key and followed by b underscore book where the data type is going to be the long text so once you have created the table with the corresponding field name, just close the table in order to save it. Click yes in order to save it. And just double click the library, the table library in order to enter the values. Let us say yes, 101. And let us say book ID, 101. Let us say book of C++. Let us say yes, 102. And book ID, 102. 
and let us say Java and let us say yes 101 and book ID 113 let us say English and yes 101 let us say book ID will be 104 let us say math now you can see the SID is having multiple values multiple entries okay same uh, student ID is there okay so just close this table now we want to create the relationship between this table how to create the relationship between the table so in order to create the relationship just go navigate to database tools and then where you can see a relationship icon just click on the relationship icon when you click on the relationship icon it will create a show table pop-up window where it will be listing the list of tables select the table you wish to create relationship so i'm going to add the three tables and close it so now it will be student and subject okay now we want to create the relationship how to create the relationship when you click on edit relationship it will generate a edit relationship pop-up window where you can see create new option is there just click on create new where you can see a uh, left table name right table name left column name right column name just click here and select student and just click here select subject and it will be student SID here it will be subject SID and click OK and then you want to enforce referential integrity and just click create now you can see you have created one to one relationship between the table student and subject our next task is we want to create one to many relationship so again go to edit relationship where you can see create new just click on create new and left table name should be student and right table name should be library so here select SID and here select SID and click OK and enforce referential integrity. Just click create in order to create the relationship. Now you can see there is a relationship that is one to one relationship exists between the table student and subject and one to many relationship exists between the tables student and library. So, so from here this library and to subject if you wish to create uh, one too many yes you are allowed to do so how again go to edit relationship again just click on create new and select here let us say subject and right table will be library select SID and here also select SID click OK and then enforce referential integrity and then click create in order to create the relationship now you can see you have created one to many relationship between the table subject and library. Now our next step will be we want to save the relationship. How to save the relationship? Just right click on the top and save. Now we want to generate the relationship report. How to generate the relationship report? So here is the icon you can see relationship report. Just click on relationship report. It will generate the relationship report. So on the top right click and save and give any name let us say report and click ok now you have created a relationship report or you have generated a relationship report this is how you want to create one to one and one to many relationship between three tables i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you